The key to a perfect grilled cheese is that ooey gooey cheese pull. I'm going to be showing you the secret to get that every single time you make a grilled cheese. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite snacks, the grilled cheese. We're going to be using this beautiful artisan loaf as our bread. It's nice and crispy. It's going to add a great crunch to our sandwich. Next, of course, you have to have a little bit of butter. And the secret ingredient is mayonnaise. This is what's going to make our sandwich beautifully golden brown and crispy. For this sandwich, I chose three different cheeses. I have provolone, white cheddar, and pepper jack for a little bit of spice at the end. First things first, we have to cut our bread. I like to cut the bread in the middle so I can get large slices of the bread. I personally like a larger sandwich, so I'm gonna cut in the middle, but you can cut wherever you want. Look how beautiful this loaf is. They did a really good job. I like to cut my pieces about a quarter of an inch thick. It just depends on how thick you want your bread for your sandwich. Take a look at this slice. It is absolutely gorgeous. They have beautiful air pockets in that bread. It's gonna great, create such a great texture. It's gonna be fluffy, but also crispy. We're now gonna get our ingredients together to build this beautiful sandwich. First things first, we need to cover each side of the bread with mayonnaise. I know mayonnaise is a controversial ingredient, but trust me, this is gonna give the sandwich an amazing texture, but will also keep the sandwich from getting dry. Now take about half a tablespoon of butter and we are just going to start melting that into the pan. Look at all those beautiful butter bubbles. Lay your bread down, making sure that when you flip the sandwich, they'll match up. We're gonna lay down our provolone first. You can put as much or as little cheese as you want in the sandwich. I prefer a lot of cheese, so I put a ton of cheese on the sandwich. I love that cheesy pull that you get. Now, the next scene is gonna be really cool. We are just doing a time lapse of the cheese melting. I'm just gonna let you watch this in peace. Now, when your cheese is all melted, we are going to flip our bread over onto itself Look at that beautiful golden crust. It is looking so delicious. We have nice runny cheese on the side. It's gonna be so yummy. Take your sandwich out of your pan and we're gonna put it on our cutting board and we are gonna cut into this. Look at how gooey and cheesy the sandwich is. Is it overkill? I'm not sure, but I am so ready to dive in. Okay, so our grilled cheese is literally grilled to perfection. Just take a look at that bread. We have our cheese melting out of it. I'm so excited to try this, you guys. Okay, so we're just going to give it a little. Oh yeah, this is what I am talking about. Look at this cheese, you guys. This, I am a cheese fanatic, so this looks absolutely delicious. Look how high this thing is going. Like what? So that is a cheese pull. All right, I'm so excited to try it. Oh my God. This literally, the bread is so perfectly crunchy. And then inside you have all of that melted cheese. It is to die for. Literally, probably one of the best grilled cheeses I have ever had. You get all the flavors of the cheese. We had cheddar, we had provolone, and some pepper jack. Now this is open to interpretation. Use whatever cheese you want. I use white cheddar, provolone, and pepper jack, but you can use any cheese. If you wanna use yellow cheddar, you Swiss, even Munster is a great melting cheese to get all of that gooey cheese pull that you want. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check us out on all the social media apps as Sauced Up Foods. Make sure you like and subscribe to our videos so you can see all of the recipes that we are rolling out, and we hope you have a great day.